beauty expert. What makes me the beauty expert? Well, many of you might not know, but I was definitely raised in the beauty business, and I'll explain that. So my mom started, and I'll say my dad as well, at the time he was doing floor covering, but my mom originally is a real estate agent uh, from L.A., and so she wanted to move to a small town because she wanted to ride her horses and, and kind of get out of the craziness of L.A., so <laughs> it's kind of a long story, but I'll try to make it a short story. She had a girlfriend in a small town called Redding, California, and this was a manicurist, and this was 35 years ago before I was born said, hey, you know what this town needs? It needs another, a beauty salon, a new place, blah, blah, blah. So back in the day, what they used to have, so my mom said, all right, you know, let's do this. Like, you can work for me, you know, you, I'll get, you know, set the hours, and you, you teach me a little bit. And so uh, she started from there, and back in the day, 30 plus years ago, they used to have gallons, okay? So we're talking like, this is, what, 16 ounces, so we're talking 32 ounces, we're talking a gallon, a double this size, actually, I think it was even bigger than that, anyways, and a, like a round gondola type, and you could come along and you could refill your bottles <laughs> with the products, so she she had a, a part of the salon and the, the supply, because it was more of a supply, was for the professionals. There were scrubs, there were wigs, there were shampoo and conditioner bottles. So she actually started in the hair business. So my mom, we have a picture, my mom on the phone placing an order with one of the companies and holding me in one hand. And I remember going to my parents' salon and they eventually expanded from the hair into the day spa product, into the makeup. And I actually remember my mom's, she hired this really, really cool makeup artist. So uh, this woman actually did measurements on my face and it was telling me oh you know you symmetrical is what people find attractive and these are the colors and da, da 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 and I was just really fascinated with her with kind of the technicality and it wasn't I don't know she's my first interaction with someone that was you know really taught me because my mom was definitely the business woman she never and still to this day She's not a cosmetologist, she's not a manicure, she's not an esthetician, she's a smart businesswoman that said if it makes money and I'm good at it, I, you know, I can do it, we can do this, I can learn this industry. So much of what I've learned is from her, especially from a business aspect, but I always had a desire actually more in the dermatology field and I was almost done with my bachelor's in business administration with emphasis in marketing with my minor in Bible from Biola and I said I think I want to I want to switch majors and be a dermatologist and her and my dad said no please don't you're so close um, and granted being the one of the second on my dad's side of the family to graduate from college um, they were like um, can you just finish this degree and so my mom said finish your business degree and I'll send you to esthetician school right when you get done go to session school, I'll send it, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it, I'll, I'll take care of you to go, because I really want you to not start over, and so I did, I went to session school, and I got my esthetician license after beauty, after college, after I was my bachelor's, I know people are like, excuse me, what, um, I loved when she was like, are you sure you're going to finish, let's see, I just finished with my bachelor's, I think I could do this. Uh, and then also, but I still always had that desire, so I actually went back to college again doing prereqs uh, after I had my esthetician license to actually apply to PA school, um, but at that point I did make the choice that I wanted to have a child and I wanted to be a mom, um, and so I actually kind of thinking maybe someday um, once my kids are grown up how cool it would be to go to PA school, physician's assistant school, or be a nurse practitioner since I already have my bachelor's. Um, so beauty expert, yes. So esthetician license, i um, been trained by probably one of the best estheticians in the United States. Um, I have clients that tell me uh, that they've been all over the world, um, and that's the nice thing about being in South Orange County. Um, my clients know what first class is. They know what a Ritz Carlton facial, they know what a, a facial in Italy is like and they they've been around and the fact that they come back to me and to my sister who I trained and come back to me repeatedly 
for products, um, that to me speaks um, tenfold, saying that they've had the first-hand experience and they come back to me. And I really, really appreciate them and they've been with me for years. So beauty expert, I think there are a lot of people that claim to be beauty experts. And I think you always should continue your education, which I do. So now that you know a little bit about me, you know that I have my bachelor's, you know that, I, yeah, I went to beauty school. I was trained by one of the top estheticians. Um, I also get my education. I also have my bit of my background, my prereqs, in doing biology, in doing anatomy, in doing the physiology and such. Like, I started there, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to finish. I'm going to get a degree, something in medical field. So... I definitely feel like uh, dab I've dabbled in a lot and uh, figured out a lot, taken a lot of classes. Oh, I work for a medical spa too. Forgot all about that. Yes, I work for a medical spa and I was the esthetician there and I was doing services and selling services. <sighs> doing the services and selling the services, kind of my one man show, but convincing a partnership of four doctors who, what, where, when, and why, how to do things. That's actually why I decided, like, I'm going to start my own business. I'm tired of, of being the expert and doing this, and I'm going to do it for myself if we're going to do this and do it right. So, yeah, I've been around the block, know about the medical stuff as well. Um, it feels weird ta saying that you're a beauty expert and bragging about it, but when I hear and see other people talk about skincare and makeup, I cringe. Because a lot of what they're saying, and just because you went to beauty school and you're an esthetician, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it doesn't mean you're an expert. It takes a long time to be an expert. This is from the little girl who's playing with Sebastian Truca makeup, and if you know what that makeup is, <laughs> then you'll know, and you'll age, and you'll age me. Um, I used to do, I used to curl wigs for crying out loud. I used to, I mean, you name it, backwards, forwards. Um, my best friend is from her parents' store a lot, especially in the summertime when I come home from college. She'd be like, oh, I always drove me crazy when you would work at your parents' store because in the middle of the night you'd talk in your sleep. I'm a big sleep talker. And you go, do you have a pink punch card? Would you like a pink punch card? You know, you get a pink punch card, you fill the pink punch card up and you get $5. I mean, I was like, pink punch card, get your pink punch card. So um, I could definitely say backwards and forwards, the beauty industry. I know for sure if there's anything I should be doing, it is this industry.